Let's bring in Kinsey Schofield live in Los Angeles. Oh, goodness me. Does this finishing of the chapter mean that you're closing the door on your family? Are you putting behind your uh, royal titles as well? Well, that we know, Rita, that they're not going to give up their royal titles because they love to mm -hmm. monetize off of not only victimhood, uh, but these royal titles um, that they are using right now to profit off of their family and, and slandering their family. Uh, you know, I, I'm really disappointed in them. And I think years from now, we're going to study how two people that contributed so little to society were able to create such division, not only in America, but all over the world. Oh, absolutely. That, and, and brought so much stress to the Queen in her final years. And I think that is just unforgivable because she deserved better. Now, there's this talk of the cover-up that Prince Harry is mentioning in these promos. Uh, what's he talking about? Is he hinting about Prince William getting up to some sort of mischief that the palace covered up? That was my first instinct because he says something similar during the Oprah Winfrey interview, which, reminder, that was supposed to be the final chapter. Remember they told us they were, they were just going to do this interview <laughs> and they weren't ever going to do anything more. Um, that was my first instinct. But, you know, it really... <laughs> I have to tell you, I've talked to many people and I don't think that that, you know, I'm, I am so confident that that William rumor is not true. And so it does seem like they're just grasping at anything. What they do, Harry and Meghan, is they throw out these very vague accusations because they like the gossip and, and they like the confrontation, but they are not specific ever, even with the racist allegations, because A, mm -hmm. they want to avoid defamation, but B, they like everybody talking they like the whispers and they like the controversy and they are operating in an environment where they can throw out these accusations however vague knowing that the royal family can't hit back that's just not how they do things they don't have this tit for tat public debate with these attention seekers so it really is kind of unfair because you can throw this mud knowing the the the, the people you are throwing mud at can't respond they're 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 going to be silenced by well their sense of duty i guess above everything else but what is the end game here what's harry and megan particularly Meghan, wanting to achieve out of this, other than obviously the the fat contracts, is there, are there political ambitions perhaps that Meghan Markle is entertaining? Well, really quickly, I just want to say, um, you're absolutely right. The royal family cannot respond. And I don't know if you noticed this, and I can't remember what episode it was because it was like just a series of feeling like I was in a nightmare from hell. But Harry specifically tries <laughs> to throw everybody off and, and get... And, and get rid of all credibility of royal commentators by saying that they are just a palace arm, an arm of the palace. I can tell you I've never communicated with the palace before. I can, I can you know, <laughs> confidently say nobody sent me a press release. Nobody's whispering in my ear trying to get me to say something specifically. We're talking from our hearts and from our knowledge of, of you know, the past and, you know, just any historical knowledge we have. Um, so they're already trying to ruin credibility. So if I come to you and say that's not true, people that love Harry and Meghan are sitting back and going, oh, maybe it's not true because I bet the palace told her to say that. That's not the way that this goes. But Meghan absolutely has political mm -hmm. aspirations. She's being mentored by several women high up in the Democratic Party. She's close to Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris, Stacey Abrams, to name a few. Ultimately, I do think that she wants to be involved in politics. But you and I both know this is a woman that podcasts once a week about a word that was said about her four years ago. Her skin is not thick enough to jump into American politics. She'd last all of 30 seconds. Well, absolutely, you would think that, but then she is in California and you see some of those Californian politicians that are elected. The Democrats could put up an inanimate carbon rod and it would probably get elected in California. So I wonder whether just the strength of her celebrity and, and these royal titles she's acquired will be enough to to get her into some sort of a representative role. Can you believe that? We'll never end we'll never stop hearing from them then. That's just scary stuff right there.
help, help. No, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> My governor, who made us mask up for two years, and sat and enjoyed a $400 plate dinner with 20 of his friends. I mean, I know exactly what you're saying because yes, I'm living this. Uh, you know, I, I do fear that because of her name and uh, position and celebrity, I really should say celebrity, that she would have a, a chance because like you said, Californians are idiots. I completely agree. <laughs> But um, she would absolutely have to give up her title if she did decide to pursue politics. Oh, that might be a bit too much. And also, you know, she would occasionally would have to do some work, which uh, oh. would be a change to the current lifestyle. Kinsey Schofield, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much.